They're off. I believe in me and high finance show speed. Bernardini is between horses. Wicked behavior is close up. Royal Star and Manhattan Mac on the move, then Ocean Forest, and the early trailer is Eager Genius. I Believe in Me is fastest out of the chute. He's a half length in front of Bernardini, who's a willing second. Wicked Behavior is three deep in third and less than a length from the front. Then it's a lineup of three, High Finance, Manhattan Mac, and Royal Star, all about two and a half lengths off the lead. Eager Genius is out of last place, but he's also very hard ridden up the back stretch. Ocean Forest is the trailer, three across the track at the four and a half. Bernardini puts half a head in front. I believe in me and Wicked Behavior now second and third. And Bernardini aggressive into the far turn now leads by a half length. High Finance is just in behind. He is fourth, but only about two from the front. Manhattan Mac and Royal Star have backed out of it. They're joined by Ocean Forest and Eager Genius, and they round the far turn. Bernardini is a neck in front. Wicked Behavior alongside in second. You better take a look at High he moves up three deep in the black cap. High finance within a length of the lead. I believe in me as backpedal to fourth. Ocean Forest is unwinding now in the red. Could get into fourth soon. He's four from the front end. Bernardini is the leader. He's put away wicked behavior and high finance, and Bernardini is getting away. Now Ocean Forest is his only danger, and it's not much of a danger as Bernardini is in charge past the 16th pole. He's six in front. High finance going to finish second. Ocean Forest third. Bernardini. Big win for Bernardini. He won by... There in the gate. And they're off. Doc Cheney and Bernardini, and it's Bernardini racing for the lead, and Luxembourg down toward the inside. And now it's Luxembourg up and after the lead. Bernardini right alongside of those two, head-to-head -head in the opening furlongs here. I've got three lengths on Doc Cheney, who settled back nicely behind that developing speed duel. And the early trailer is long shot, Robin Blind. Up the back stretch through a quarter that goes in 23 seconds flat. And well off the rail, Luxembourg has the lead. His constant companion down the back stretch run is Bernardini. Three lengths back to Doc Cheney, who remains a comfortable third. And a big break back to the trailer, Robin Blind. We're at the half-mile pole, and it's still Luxembourg, three-quarters of a length ahead of Bernardini. The half was a solid one, 46 and one-fifth seconds. Around the far turn, Luxembourg, now Bernardini is ratcheting up that pressure, trying to get closer, but Luxembourg lets it out a notch. And farther back, Doc Cheney remains a patiently ridden third is Doc Cheney. Then a break of another four, back to Robin Blind, and they're coming to the top of the stretch. There goes Bernardini now. Bernardini takes charge with a flourish. Bernardini in front, leaving Luxembourg in his wake. Coming down to the final furlong now. Javier Castellano lost the whip on Bernardini, but he's not going to need it. They've got a four-length lead as Doc Cheney comes up to be second on the outside. Handridden, not willingly, through the final furlong is Bernardini to a three-length lead. Doc Cheney was second. Luxembourg was third. Clean break, and on the inside, as expected, Like now shoots to the front. He's going to take him as far as he can, and Garrett Gomez has the one horse. Like now in command. And Cantasormo says, I'm going to go for the early action, too. Sweet Northern Saint on the outside into second position, and Barbaro has pulled up. Barbaro's out of it. Barbaro, there's all oh, trouble, and he has... Oh, he, he, it's his, it's his right hind leg that he is favoring, and Barbaro is out of it. Tragedy on the first turn. Okay, they go to the clubhouse, they round the clubhouse turn, head to the back stretch, like now in front. Sweet Northern Saint is second, and that's Bernardini racing third, and now Brother Derek on the outside is fourth, followed by Diabolical, who's fifth, a break of six lengths. Then comes Platinum Couple, followed by... On the inside, Hemingway's keys, and uh, then it's Greeley's legacy. And as we said, Barbaro has pulled up on the first turn. The rider is off, and of course, uh, the veterinarians are rushing to Barbaro right now. But as they continue down the backstretch, after a half of 46 and 3 fifth seconds, not particularly fast, it is still like now in front. But here comes Sweet Northern Saint and Kent Sormo on the outside to challenge. It is like now in front by a head. Now Sweet Northern Saint 
quickly, boldly takes command, and Bernardini, the horse with only three races under his belt, is flying on the outside. At the quarter pole, three of them across the track. Sweet Northern Saint pokes ahead in front, but Bernardini on the outside has something to say, and Bernardini takes command, and down the stretch they come in the Preakness, and Bernardini is drawing clear. He's in front by four, by five. Sweet Northern Saint is second. Tom Albatroni said this was the best horse he ever saw, and here he comes under the wire to destroy the field of the Preakness. Bernardini by five. Sweet Northern Saint second, and Hemingway's key was up to be third as a long shot. They're in the gate. And they're off. Sun River racing for the lead, and Johnny Velasquez is keeping him fairly well out into the track, but Bernardini's got a little better speed as they race into that first turn. Bernardini is the leader. Minister's bid up to be second on the outside. Sun River is now third, and Dr. Pleasure is reined in to run back and forth. Hemingway's key is fifth in the early going, and oh so awesome is allowed to trail the field in the early stages here. So Bernardini takes the field into the back stretch, and he clicked off a quarter in the slop in 23 and 4. Leads by a length, being prompted by Minister's bid on the outside second. Sun River and Johnny Velasquez are tracking Bernardini down the back stretch run. Then it's a break of four to Hemingway's key, who's just on the inside of Dr. Pleasure, at another three or four lengths back to Oso Wass in the trailer. Bernardini, whose quarter was 23 and 4, and his half was strong, 47 and 1 fifth seconds. Bernardini in front, still some light pressure from Minister's bid. Johnny Velasquez keeping after Sun River to keep him with very close striking range of the Preakness winner who leads the field into the far turn. A break of six to Dr. Pleasure and Hemingway's key under a strong ride. A long way back to Oh So Awesome and around the far turn. And it's Bernardini in front. Minister's bid is put to the whip. Sun River couldn't keep up but he's dropped six lengths behind the lead. Dr. Pleasure now is beginning to kick in on the outside. Bernardini enters the stretch with a three-length lead as the field turns for home. Minister's bid, Dr. Pleasure on the outside. Hemingway's key is coming up the rail. But Javier Castellano is like a statue in the stirrups aboard Bernardini, and they glide past the eighth pole with a five-length lead. Effortless performance by Bernardini. Look at this. He didn't break a sweat, and it's 90 degrees. Bernardini runs huge. Minister's bid finishing second. Hemingway's key was third. The final time was 1 minute 50 and 2 fifth seconds. He's an old salt, gets off to a good start, squeeze back just a bit there, Minister's Bid and Dr. Pleasure. Here's High Cotton with his early speed, Bluegrass Cat and Bernardini right there together. So under the wire for the first time, and Bernardini goes on with it. Bernardini goes on with it. As High Cotton defers to Bernardini early, and Johnny Velasquez will peak Bluegrass Cat right there on the tail of Bernardini in the early stages here. And the first quarter goes in 23 and 2 fifth seconds. Farther back in the field, he's an old salt who's got it to the outside, and stablemates Minister's Bid and Dr. Pleasure. So it's Bernardini the leader, and glued to his flank, Johnny Velasquez and Bluegrass Cat, as they turn into the backstretch here at Saratoga. Bernardini is the leader, three quarters of a length, Bluegrass Cat his shadow, 48 seconds flat, a very patient opening half mile here. Just in behind, High Cotton runs along in third. He's an old salt. Dr. Pleasure now is running along in fifth, and he's only five lengths from the lead. Minister's bid is the last of six. Down the back stretch run. Bernardini, Bluegrass Cat, 1-2, with a half mile to go here in the Travers. They've run three quarters in 1-12 and 3. On the far turn, Bernardini still with that lead. Johnny Velasquez exhorts Bluegrass Cat. He's an old salt. Is it an all-out drive? But he's still three and a half lengths behind. Just to his inside, it's Dr. Pleasure. And they're coming to the top of the stretch. And Bernardini, Bernardini slips loose now from Bluegrass Cat. Bluegrass Cat took a run at him, and he's going to take another run at him as they turn for home. And the stage is set in the Travers. Bernardini, Bernardini has turned back. Bluegrass Cat at the eighth pole. Bernardini is pouring it on, and he's pulling away. 
Bluegrass Cat has been left in his wake. And on the outside, Dr. Pleasure, he's an old salt. Bernardini, brilliant once again. And he bounds home to an effortless victory in the late stages here. Well, with that victory in the Traverse Stakes, Bernardini supplants Kentucky Derby winner Barbaro as the top three-year-old in the country. And trainer Tom Albertrani, who was assistant to Hall of Fame trainer Bill Mott, the two-time Horse of the Year cigar tied citations, modern North American record of 16 straight wins, was asked to compare the two. He said, I'd put them in the same category. Well, it, it makes sense. Here's a look at the replay out of the starting gate. And you could see the two-horse race developing rather rapidly. No surprise that Bernardini would go to the front. Look how he just pulls Javi Castellano right up to the front. But Johnny V, knowing that he has to attend the pace with Bluegrass Cat. Sure, he'd like to settle back a little bit more if he could, but he had to keep an eye on Bernardini and keep him honest, so to speak. As you can see, they get past the three-quarter mile pole. Now, as they're past the three-eighths pole and they come for home, things really haven't changed from the way they went into the turn. Bernardini in front by about a length and a half, and Bluegrass Cat. He was stalking earlier now. Now he is chasing. Bernardini Bernardini straightens up and heads for home, and Bluegrass Cat is all in. He's doing his best. His best is pretty darn good, but is not good enough to beat Bernardini. Who can? And look at Javi Castellano after the left-handed stick. Watch what he does with his right hand. We saw this a little bit from Bellamy Road when he won the wood a while back. Yeah, number one, a little pat on the neck. You still have a sixteenth of a mile to go, but Bernardini just wins this one with the greatest of ease. And they're off, and Bernardini breaks in stride. But Wandering Boy is sent after that lead by Edgar Prado immediately. So it will be Wandering Boy, as expected, out to take that lead. Bernardini defers to Wandering Boy in the first quarter mile here. Andromeda's hero is third, about three lengths from the lead. And Ireland's Dylan Thomas is just allowed to lope along in the early stages here as they make their way into the backstretch run. Wandering Boy leads by a length, and... Javier Castellano keeps Bernardini out of harm's way in the clear on the outside, running along in second, three quarters of length behind an opening quarter in a tepid 25 seconds flat. Andromeda's hero remains in his third position and a half dozen lengths back to Dylan Thomas as they continue their run up the backstretch. Wandering boy, but not far behind, looms the Preakness and Travers winner Bernardini. The half goes in 48 seconds flat, so that second quarter was 23 seconds flat there, so they have picked up that tempo considerably as the field moves for the far turn. Wandering Boy on top, Bernardini, just a little nudge there from Javier Castellano, five lengths back, Andromeda's hero Cornelio Velasquez trying to motivate him, and it's a long way back to Dylan Thomas. He has dropped way out of it now. He's almost 18 from the front. And up front, it's still Wandering Boy, and now they're getting serious. Bernardini a length and a half behind him second, and there's three furlongs to go in the Jockey Club Gold Cup. Seven lengths adrift is Andromeda's hero. Coming to the top of the stretch, Wandering Boy, and the menacing presence of Bernardini draws alongside, and Javier Castellano steals a peek back to check out Andromeda's hero, who's six lengths behind the lead. And under a hand ride, Bernardini has just inhaled Wandering Boy. Bernardini coming down to the final furlong. Just a hand ride for him today again. And Wandering Boy. And they're coming down to the finish. And once again, with nonchalant brilliance, Bernardini has won. It's closed and they're all set. There's the roar from the Churchill Downs crowd as the Breeders' Cup Classic Fields set on their way and Roy Rod in the white in the middle immediately sprints to the lead. Lava Man is right there. Bernardini came away beautiful and Brother Derek's taken a strong hold down at the rail. Alongside of him comes Premium Tap. There couldn't be much more speed on early here on the outside. Here's Flower Alley keeping them on as Bernardini's petal down in the sixth spot now. Been followed by George Washington to the rail. Six off the leaders. In the sewer is racing alongside a suave. They're a good eight lengths off the lead now. Then back to Sun King. Along the inside of those two, we have David Junior scraping the paint. Then back to Perfect Drift. And Giacomo is the trainer. Giacomo, 15 off the leader. Onto the back stretch they go. And Brother Derek virtually sprinting out here. He's setting up fast pace, a length and a half to Lawyer Ron. Lava Man is in third. Down at the rail, premium tap in the gold colors. Bernardini is back in fifth now. And Bernardini might be being asked to pick it up from here. Bernardini is six lengths off the leader.
going to have to go wide now. George Washington is coming through inside of him. Then David Jr. Inversor tries to get up closer. He's seven off the leaders. Then Suave, Sun King behind that perfect drift. And Giacomo continues to trail. Less than a half mile to go. Brother Derek is the leader. There's Lawyer Ron chasing him in second. Now Bernardini has suddenly kicked it in. It looked like he might be battling. But Bernardini with a magnificent rush on the outside in the white sleeves. And strikes the front in the classic brother Derek running a huge one to his inside in behind those two now Inversor's coming home gamely as well down the center Bernardini Inversor's coming with a good run down the center of the track brother Derek tries to battle back along the inside but Inversor Bernardini Inversor Inversor and Bernardini in a thrill of an Inversor's got his measure and Inversor the Argentinian bred Uruguayan raced Inversor won the classic second was bernardini premium tap running on third giacomo came from dead last to finish fourth just ahead of brother derek